Kristen Grammer really did not hold back in her confessions today in People Magazine. She says Kelsey went to New York to do a play on Broadway in June. Then bam, Camille says she got a call from a friend who saw Kelsey all over town with another woman. AJ, the way that Camille describes this is really heartbreaking. Yeah, I'm calling out the grammar police on this one. <laughs> Although I, I really don't want to make light of it because it is terrible. Listen it's to this. Terrible. This is what Camille says, Brooke. I texted him and asked him to please call me. Nothing. I texted him again and he wrote, I don't want to talk. I wrote, we've been together for 14 years. I deserve an explanation. Finally, three hours later, he called me. He basically said, I don't want to be married anymore. I got to tell you, this just bums me out if it's true, because I've always liked Kelsey, and it obviously seems like a lousy way to handle things. Kate, were you stunned by Camille's revelations to people? I think I was stunned, certainly, by the level of candor that she's showing. I mean, she's being extremely direct and straightforward about everything that happened to end her marriage. But I, I don't think anyone expected that it ended quite so abruptly. Yeah, I mean, boom, done. Camille yeah. and Kelsey's sudden split, by the way, happened right in the middle of Camille's new reality show, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So cameras did catch some of the drama as the unhappy couple went to the Tonys together. Take a look at what happened. How are you doing? Kelsey was nominated for a Tony. It was very hard walking down the red carpet knowing that my marriage was almost over. I was absolutely devastated. Well, Camille has become the housewife on that show that everyone loves to hate. But, Tanika, I'm thinking that maybe people are now going to start to have some degree of sympathy for Camille knowing what was going on when the cameras weren't rolling. Do you think that's going to go on? I don't know. It's so abrupt and it's so heartbreaking. I agree with you, Brooke. But at the same time, when you're on a show like that, being the one that people love to hate is a good thing. So maybe she doesn't want to be the one that everyone loves. I, I don't know. It's just so uncomfortable. And I, I watched the first episode for research purposes right, only. And uh, I have to say, she kept saying over and over, I'm not just... Kelsey's wife. I have my own identity, and I have the feeling that that might be the reason for the demise of their yeah, relationship. Maybe the was on the wall. Yeah, yeah, I have a feeling we don't know both sides no. of this story. She does say it came out of nowhere. I just feel for the kids. They've got two Absolutely. young kids caught in the middle of this.